show you how we set our anchors back here to uh, chunk with some live bait, some chunk bait. Chump them in, I'll show you how we set our anchors. It's a big help to use two anchors. You can use a mooring buoy if there's one nearby, but we usually use two anchors so we can set exactly where we want, no matter where we go. The Danforth anchor is going to be on the front of the boat. All the current, all the waves are going to hit the front of the boat. Do not anchor with the stern into the waves, ever. It's a real bad habit. Uh, these little calm areas, probably no problem, but you never know when current and wind going to change. You don't need waves splashing against the back of your transit. So we're going to anchor always into the waves first. We're going to use our Danforth anchor for that. Big scary Tommy's going to run up. You see here on the chart, we're coming up here. I want to fish right here. So I'm driving past the piece I want to fish on. All right, now he's gonna throw the Danforth anchor off the front. He won't put that anchor in the water ever until I'm in reverse. I'll scream, Tommy, dump it, dump it. And he goes, not till you put it in reverse. And that's a good habit to get into. So, the reverse over the piece. I'm just gonna gently run it into the water just in case we run a little fish. I want to scare away. Ready? Let it go, baby. There we go. That's gentle for Tom. <laughs> all right, now he's gonna let it all out. He's gonna let 100 feet out of four, even though we're only at 15 feet. All right, now we're letting line out on the Danforth. Again, that's into the waves, it's into the current, always at the front of the boat. The bow of the boat is always into the current, into the waves. We have a heavy anchor back here. This is a 30 pound anchor. It has a slip ring system in case it gets hung up on something because we do use it in fresh water as well where there are a lot of stumps. If you look here on the chart, I backed up right where I wanted to be. We're still going in reverse, right between these two pieces. If you look at Tommy, he's still paying line out. If we have a knot at the hunter line, he just slowed down 100 feet. Mike is in the back, he's waiting for me. Checking the stocks and bond. <laughs> and let her go. Always off the side of the boat, right, Mike? Off the side. Why do we go on the side? Because uh, that's what she said to do. That a boy! <laughs> Michael set this anchor here just straight down to the bottom, plus three feet. And you'll see it'll slowly go out slightly. That's about all we need right there. That's just to keep the stern from swinging around so when we set all our cut bait lines out, they don't move at all. Now Tommy's just continually pulling in the bow line. That's a Danforth anchor into the wind. You know he's got it locked in tight, so he's just gonna pull until the boat stops moving, nice and tight. Clean that baby off and we'll be rock solid. Always use your Danforth anchor off the bow into the wind. Your main anchor has to be into the wind. If you use, I don't care what brand you use, what kind you use, if you're anchoring with one anchor, always off the bow. If you want to put a stern line down just to keep it from swinging, that's good, but it should not be holding the, beat, the meat of this boat. That anchor should not be holding the meat of the boat. The Danforth is doing 99% of the work. That's only to swing, keep it from swinging. The reason we don't let it out very far is because if we have a fish run back here, we can yank it straight up and get it out of the way. Ha, ha, ha.